Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to introduce you to the Pathfinder dialog box and show you how to use the merge tool to merge a rounded rectangle and two squares together to make this shape. The overall process is really easy and yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is draw out a rounded corner rectangle. We can simply do this by coming up to our shape tool here, clicking and holding and just coming down to the rounded rectangle tool. Just come back into the middle of the page and just click once. This will bring up our size dialog box, so we can just type in whatever size we want. For this I'm just going to go 150 pixels by 100 with a rounded corner radius of uh, 20 pixels there. That'd be good, hit OK, and get in the middle. Um, to make things easier what we're going to do is we're just going to change that to black and we'll just turn off the stroke there. Cool, and we'll just zoom in a little bit as well, just so we can see what's going on. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get draw in two squares and place them on each of these corners and then we can merge the, the whole shape together. So to do this we'll just grab our rectangle tool and again just clicking once and we'll just draw in a rectangle that's 50 by 50. Alright and now we've got our square sitting here we might as well just copy it so we can use it again later so just press ctrl c and we'll just copy it and leave it sitting there in our memory. Now we want to come up and grab our pointer tool and we'll just select both of those items there and just come to our alignment bar at the top. Now of course we want to line the square into the corner here so we can do that easily by clicking this align to left and then the align to top button there and now perfectly align that up in the corner of our rounded corner rectangle. Now the next step is simply to merge these together. So what we want to do is we want to open up our Pathfinder dialog box. You can do this by either clicking on the Pathfinder side or if it's not there we can just go and find it in our window dialog box there. Cool. So once we've got that open we want to merge these, merge these two shapes together. Now there's two ways we can do this. We can hold Alt and click on our Add to Shape area here or you can simply click Merge. Both of them will do the exact same thing. So I'm just going to click Merge because it's easy. There you go, and those two shapes are stuck together. Now because we have our square still stuck in our memory, we can just go Control B and paste it back in place. And again, selecting both objects, we want to line this square down into the bottom corner here. So we just do the exact opposite of what we did before and just go align to right and align to bottom. And again, just going back to our merge button here in our Pathfinder and clicking that, and voila, all merged together. Now you're probably wondering what's the point of merging these shapes together, why can't I just have them sitting around like that? Well if we go into our outline view you can see that all these items here are still there. Um, this is not ideally the best way of doing it. The more objects you have obviously the larger your file size is going to be. So merging everything together into one object simply cleans up everything and you don't have hundreds and hundreds of objects lying around thus wasting more memory, making things run slower, making the file bigger, etc, etc. So it's always good practice just to merge shapes together. Particularly if you're going to do stuff like uh, lino cutting or die cutting or anything like that. The more paths you have lying around, the messier things are going to get. So there you have it. That's our final product. Now this tutorial is going to be a part one of three about the Pathfinder dialog box. The um, other two will cover some other nifty things you can do with it. I'm not going to cover everything in the Pathfinder. Um, there's just a lot there happening and I only really use three of the options day to day. I very rarely use any others. So yeah, keep an eye out for those. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. That always helps. And yeah, have a nice day.